So empathy, I, I am sure, is a genetic trait. Intu uh, intro intuition also, whether or not we have it, but whether or not you're introverted or extroverted, I don't see that as a genetic thing. I see that as a reaction to how we grew up and the reaction towards what, uh, where our life is and how, who we are around. That we feel the need either to be among people or be away from people. And I know that, um, you know, th th they cannot figure us out, if you will, because life is all about the boxes. And one thing that I've learned is that arch negative people often annoy the general population, annoy in terms of them not able to figure us out, meaning there is no box that we fit in and people get very insecure when they don't know something. Most people, you see, in my case, it's different. I like it when I don't know something. I want to know at least what I can find out on my own. And I know many of you are the same way. But when people, generally speaking, cannot figure you out, cannot push you into a box, they are obsessed with trying to find out what's wrong with you. At least that's what they tell themselves. And there is so much reaffirmation uh, from others. Basically, it's this groupthink thing where people tell each other the same thing and they start to believe it. But also, they're lacking intuition, meaning they cannot just let go and be guided. They are guided by the words of others. They're guided by what they have learned. learned. And if they cannot match what you do with what they have learned, their world sort of, sort of is out of shape and they cannot handle it. So what they will do is likely attack you, likely um, come together with others to discuss that there's something wrong with you. And again, that's why uh, when it comes to the Myers-Briggs thing, the one letter I'm not into at all is the, the first one meaning the E or the I, extrovert or introvert, because there's really no such thing. There is an extroverted behavior and an introverted behavior. But there is no real box. There is no solid box where you say, because I can guarantee you that the people who call themselves introverted, if you put them among a group of people they are interested in and where the energy resonates, and they, you will not be able to get them to shut off because, you know, and, and especially if their energy is protected and these are people who are equally sensitive, empathetic, intuitive and non-intrusive. And that's the other thing, that we have a society where people are extremely intrusive and that's because people have an, a void inside. It's like a bucket with a hole. It's like never going to be filled. And that's the emotional vampirism going along with that, where basically the, uh, the experiments that were made many decades ago about would you inflict pain on somebody else or not, and the uh, results were overwhelming how people, when they're given the choice, are how so many people want to inflict pain on others. And that's a sad reality we live in, we live with. And I'm pretty sure that us Irish negative people and intuitive people in general are good at feeling what's up with somebody else. We may, you know, get impacted by people who tell us you're too sensitive and just go with the flow and this is just how it is. But the inner voice is very, very important. I realize how happy I am when I'm alone. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so happy just to be alone and be able to hear my own thoughts because I find my own thoughts a lot more interesting than most people's conversations. It sounds arrogant, no, it's not. It's just the reality, you know what I mean? I know I have my flaws, but I also know we have to also, you know, on the one hand, accept our flaws and realize where they come from. And sometimes we realize that when we have enough rest and hear our own minds think, we actually are uh, less flawed because we act from within. A lot of what we do can be just a reaction to what happened in the past or what's happening right now all around us. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Mike Deman and my website is resistnegative.net.